Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and what I have here, this tiny little thing, is a HPC jackknife lock pick set, and this was kindly given to me by my good friend Rick. So thank you, Rick, for giving this to me. It's actually my first HPC pick. Um, I've never used HPC before. I know that they are based in the US, in Massachusetts, I believe, and that they are favoured by many a locksmith in particular. Uh, I'm not sure that they cater primarily to the lock supporter, um, and they're relatively difficult to come across in the UK, although there are a couple of suppliers who sell a couple of sets at quite expensive prices, so I will have to look out for some more, I think. Um, this jack my pick set, I mean, it's only about the length of my index finger, comes in a little uh, case, it's a JKP5, I say case, uh, what I mean is um, cardboard envelope, I don't know why I said case, and it does come with some instructions which are interesting. Um, for the most part, they're right, apart from the way that they're sort of suggesting you hold the uh, the picks, uh, that just doesn't seem um, well like that. Uh, particularly natural to me, but anyway, it's it's what it is. So how do we get into this? Well, it's got, uh, I think it's quite a, it's, it's sort of a rudimentary, but in its own way, quite ingenious little um, way of keeping the tension tool in and the uh, pick tools closed. It's got this little sliding mechanism here, which reminds me of a safety uh, lock on a furniture stay or, or table leg or something similar, but um, yeah, it's kind of cool. So with this collar, which is sort of like a little, little brass collar, got some stainless steel uh, scales, I guess. And around it is this sort of rubber ring. Don't know what that comes from, but it's just a big chunk of rubber. And where you have these um, rivets, it's sort of pressed up and nothing slides out. What you can do is you can just pull this down like this and then gently tug on the tension tool and that will come free. And then this sort of slides uh, freely. The instructions say that once you have the collar down here, you can use the end of the um, tension tool to release the picks. It's also quite tight here. You'll notice something when I do this, a, a sound, listen. Oh, well, it didn't quite, but it has a faint click when you locate them in like that. Then you have a choice of what looks like spring steel, coated spring steel picks. I'll try to fan them out for you in an appealing way. And what we have is some yeah, pretty good profiles, I'd say. You have two identical snake rigs, as far as I can tell. Uh, I don't know why, as opposed to, say, a, a deeper hook or even a shorter hook, but that seems to be what you get, two rakes. Maybe it's supposed to be, uh, I know it's a backup, so if you snap one of these off, maybe at least you'll have a probe and then some picks and a rake. I, I'm, I'm not quite sure what the thinking is there, but nevertheless, two snake rakes, a medium to short hook. It's a bit deeper than a standard short hook, but not white as deep as some medium hooks and a perfectly nice half diamond there as well. So yeah, you only get one uh, tension tool, which is relatively normal for jackknife pick sets. Uh, four pick profiles, so it's quite light, but the whole thing is light, if that makes sense. So, you know, it's, it's light on picks, but it's light in weight. Um, so it's, it's a very, very compact little set. Anyway, once you've chosen your pick of choice, so I'm just going to put these rakes and the half diamond away, get them together and do that. Then what we can do is we can move this collar over there and that sort of acts as a stop and limits the uh, movement. So if I was picking like that, I, I would probably hold it something like this, um, try to keep the collar between my thumb and first finger and then use my second finger here to help push the pick tip up. Kind of cool and not too uncomfortable actually. What I think I need to do now is 
probably start to pick some locks. This clearly isn't a heavy duty uh, pick set, so I'm gonna go easy on it, but let's just choose some nice basic everyday locks that you might come across and uh, see how it fares. Certainly one of the most common padlocks you'll come across, the Masslock Magnum or Excel. Uh, this is one of the older versions, but should suffice. We're going to rake it with the snake rake and see how I get on. Hmm, it feels like it might be picked when just hang up in the, uh, uh, there we go, got it. Ah, tension tool's just dragging a bit there. There we go. Just a mass lock three, but we'll try and zip it with this half diamond. So light tension and press up and zip. There we go, straight away. This little five pin padlock is actually a really fun pick with lots of spools in. So I'm going to try and use this hook. Um, it's got a relatively open keyway, so should be okay. I'm just going to try and find any binding pins and set them. And there we go. This is quite a small 40 millimeter padlock with a small keyway and the hook is just too deep to get in there. But I might try to see whether I can use this half diamond as a short hook. It can work. Um, the tension tool is just a little bit big for this keyway, so that might limit the amount of room we have for this pick as well, but let's give it a go. Five pins and lots of spools. Anything that feels like it might lift up. There we go, and we did get it. Now let's try this big chunky Matlock 5598. Make sure we don't tension these sort of rivety bits at the bottom, like that, get yeah, good. And we're gonna go in with the hook. There we go, just going through gently, and I think, yeah, we got it. And there we go. Um, not bad, I think, for a, an emergency little pick set. Um, it was quite difficult just using this one tension tool. Uh, but that's that's sort of what you get with a lot of these jackknife sets, you only really do get one. Uh, but it is effective in the right lock, especially some of those ones you just saw earlier, which are relatively common to come across. So pros and cons. Um, pros, the profiles are actually quite nice and relatively well finished. Um, you can see some of the, just by using it, some of the coating um, has come off, but that's 100% to be expected and it's very normal with these coated uh, spring steel picks, but they felt really quite nice. The shanks were very slim and these come in at about 20 thousandths of an inch or 0.54 um, millimeters. So yeah, all the profiles that are on here are actually really nice as well. I'll just poke them out to show you. The snake profiles are uh, nice and defined the half diamond is very useful and does substitute as a shorter hook as well quite effectively i have to say so in terms of the general thicknesses and the finish and usability of the profiles actually pretty good uh, another pro for this set is it's extremely light it really is a, just a light set you could throw it in a wallet a pocket um, you wouldn't really notice it it's a very light set and it's also quite cheap. I think in America you can get these for around $22, $23. Um, and the one I found in the UK I could buy was about £23. There's a bit of a price difference because it should be um, under £20 if you did a conversion. But yeah, it's, it's about £23, $23 uh, for what I can find. So yeah, not too bad. The pro Like I said, profiles are nice. The shank heights and widths are great. Um, the, the material, the spring seal, I quite liked it and it is light and relatively cheap. So lots of good things going for this. Cons, um, this annoys me, um, after a while. I, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's okay. I mean, look, this isn't supposed to be your, um, everyday pick set. Um, but nevertheless, having to try to stop that from sliding back 
while you're uh, picking and raking, it's a bit cumbersome. It, it doesn't feel right because it's quite thick here. It's almost a centimeter, which is twice as thick as I, I normally like my picks. And you, you, your fingers tend to sort of slide back and then that happens. It's, it's a little bit cumbersome. But, you know, I've got to go back to the point that it's a small, cheap, light pocket pick set. It's not designed to replace a whole uh, lock pick set. So it's one of those things which just by the design, you do have to put up with it. Um, other cons, apart from that, uh, I still don't really know why there was two snake rakes. If anything, uh, a, a deeper hook or maybe just a probe would have been uh, better, I think. But I mean, it, they're nice, but why two? I couldn't quite figure that one out. Um, so yeah, those are the cons really, that this is a bit annoying and you get two of one profile instead of something a little bit more varied. Any improvements that I would make to this, apart from obviously having a maybe a slightly deeper hook or a, or, or even a more shallow hook uh, in place of one of these snake rakes, um, I think that you could easily probably get more than one tension tool underneath this. So you could probably do that as a an aftermarket add-on yourself if you have a spare tool. Be quite tight to get under there, but you could probably get one under that side and then one onto the other side together, sort of cross over at the top. That would certainly increase your picking potential with one of these. And um, it just seems like a perfect thing to have on a keychain. So just making this a bit longer and if they made that longer and then we could drill a small hole through and stick a, um, a little loop on, um, this would be brilliant as a little uh, a keychain. It really would be. It's, it's very small and innocuous, and um, the rubber here does hold the tension tool on really firmly, so I don't think it would come off in your pocket. So, again, I, I don't really know why that wasn't a consideration. Even if they just didn't do anything more than extend that and put a hole on uh, at the end, uh, that, that would go a long way. Or even just like have a hollow rivet at the, at the back. Um, that that would that would still be fine too. In fact, that would probably be a better option in some ways. But yeah, overall, um, it's kind of a, a cute, pretty functional, very lightweight set for not very much money with uh, with good picks and profiles. But it does have um, a few drawbacks. Um, not least this this slider here, which I just which is a little tighter, or 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 just maybe a little bit less likely to uh, slide back as you try to use the, the the hooks and picks and things. But yeah, anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you have one of these? What do you think of it? Do you like its small scale? Do you uh, also get annoyed by the slider? Do you like it? You know, do you think it's good for what you get for the price? Let me know down there. I do read all the comments, reply to as many as I can. Um, if you haven't subscribed and like content like this, please do subscribe. And of course, I'll see you all next time.